It's difficult for me to really reflect on being the first African-American transplant surgeon because I, I never really saw myself as the first African-American transplant surgeon. That's not how I approached it. It was an opportunity for me to enter a field that I found exciting and rewarding as it was something new. The opportunity to be trained in Pittsburgh at that time was a blessing in itself because during, that was the late 80s and University of Pittsburgh was one of the leading transplant centers and we had in our year 10 fellows in training to become transplant surgeons. There were a few women and so the opportunity to, to do this was phenomenal for me. It was new, it was exciting and I, it was, I just saw it as an opportunity and didn't really re think about being the first until many years later as we reflected and looked for a job, I realized, oh, there's really no others out there. But it wasn't something that I did and, and was conscious about. I think as I stayed in the field and was given opportunities to do interviews and people highlighted it, it made me realize that this was an opportunity for me to be a mentor, to encourage others to enter the field, as many young girls would be interested in surgery, but be somewhat shy because of, well, how do you balance being, I want to be a mother, I want to have kids, uh, is it really, can you do both at the same time, have a career and have children? So it was certainly an opportunity for me to talk about my life, talk about the challenges, and the things that I encountered and the ability to be able to balance the two with some sacrifices.